Hey guys, Chad Wesley Smith, Smith doing some one minute Q&A. Andrew Wilson asked about the benefit uh, of cambered bar squats or safety safety squat bar squats. Uh, you know, I think both of those are, are really good exercises, particularly a safety squat bar. I really uh, have seen a lot of benefits in that for myself or uh, for different athletes that I've worked with. You know, all, all of the specialty bars you know, can have their place. Um, it's, it just can't replace the main movement. You know, you can't just safety squat bar unless you're going to be in a safety squat bar competition, all right? Um, you know, for, for an athlete, you know, a non-strength sport athlete who squatting is not a part of their, of their competitive activity, you know, go ahead and just do safety squat bar squats if you want. If you have bad shoulders and you need to use it for that reason, go ahead. But if you're a power lifter and squatting is a part of your, is part of your competition, you know, the straight bar back squat you know, to, de to competition depth, that needs to be sport practice. It needs to be treated as such, all right? Safety squat bar squats, cambered bar squats, uh, you know, box squats, wide stance, narrow stance, low bar, high bar, anything that's not the way that you compete, all right? That's like a drill. You wouldn't have a, you know, a basketball player just, you know, just do a three-man weave or just do layup drills or just do, you know, L, uh, like L cut drills and, and then tell them, all right, you're ready to go play basketball. You know, that's just a part of it. That's to address a, a specific weakness. So use it use it as part of your training, you know, if you have that specific weakness, but but it can't it can't replace the the real exercises.